Hey everyone, my name is Braden. In this video, we're going to go over how to sum columns and rows of a pandas data frame. First, we'll start off by importing pandas as PD. I'm importing NumPy as well, just to put in some missing data here. And then we'll want to have a data frame. I'm creating one out of a dictionary. Here we have five columns with different types of data in each of those columns. All right, to get the sum of columns, so we want to add one, two, three, four, and five together, and so forth. What we'll do is simply say df.sum. And we see the first three columns look like they worked out correctly. However, with column four and column five, what pandas did, instead of adding them together, it concatenated them. Because if we look at the type of our data, we see that it's actually string values. So pandas is smart enough to say, hey, these are strings, I can't add them together, so I will just smash them together or concatenate them to try and get what you want. If something like this happens to you, such as in column four, where there actually are numbers, what you can do is convert those strings into integers or to floats, and then the sum function will work the way that you expect. Most likely, you won't always want to sum the entire data frame, so you can specify specific columns to sum. If you just wanted to sum a single column, what you can do is say df, specify the column you want to get the sum on, and then say dot sum. That will return the sum of that column. If we had multiple columns that we wanted to get the sum of, what we can do is save a list of column names. We'll call the list calls to sum. And in this case, it makes sense to get the sum of column one, column two, and column three. And then we'll pass that list into our data frame. And then pandas will only return the sums of the columns that we specified. This is a good option if you have only a few columns, but in some situations it might be better to use indexing if you have lots of columns. For example, we can say df.ilock, specify that we want all the rows in this case, and then we're going to take all the columns from the beginning, so we can either put zero or leave it blank, colon, and say what column we want to go up to but not include. So in this case, three. This is a little confusing because we're using indexing, which starts at zero. So we're actually using column one, which is at index zero, column two, which is at index one, and column three, which is at index two. So if we run this, we get our first three columns, and then we want to say dot sum to get the sum of those columns. Now, if we want to get the sum of rows rather than columns, what we'll do is specify a new column. We'll just say this is called sums. Set that equal to df.sum axis equals one. So the reason that we're doing axis is equal to one is because we're saying sum across axis one. So remember in a pandas data frame, the rows is axis zero and the columns is axis one. So when we set axis is equal to one, we're saying sum across column one, column two, column three, four, and five. So it's going to add these together and then it's gonna go down to the next row, add all the columns together, go down to the next row, add all those together and so forth. And we can run that and look at our new data frame. So we see that it did exactly that. One in six is seven. Since there's a NAND value, it converted column three to floats. So now the sum is always going to be a float rather than an integer. And remember, it didn't add 16 to this because it's actually a string rather than an integer. If for some reason you don't want to skip NAND values or missing values, we can just specify that as an argument. So I'm gonna copy this from above and then include skip NA equals false. And now we see that when a missing value is included in the sum, what is returned is NAN or missing Sometimes this can be helpful. It can let us know that, hey, there's missing data in your data frame. You should probably take care of that and then get back to this. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please 
Consider giving this video a like and subscribing for weekly content. And thank you for watching.